Oh yeah, baby, this is Blazing Lasers here for TurboGuy16, and I'm gonna see if I can do a complete playthrough of it. Yeah. It's been a while. I actually had a complete playthrough on my old Blip account, but unfortunately Blip is no longer yeah support my videos or whatever. I think you can still post videos on there, but only if you're like somebody really famous like Nostalgia Crick or Nostalgia Chick and Nostalgia Whoever. <laughs> anyway, they don't want bums like me on there, so they delete my account, but hey, <laughs> one door closes and one door opens up because hey, got my old Star Soldier channel back, and that's awesome. So, I figured. Let's do some Let's Plays. I still got my Arizona World Champ channel and that's going to be mostly reviews and just ranting and shit. While my Star Solar channel, I'm going to copy Cutie Pie <laughs> and do Let's Plays, baby. Woo! And let's play an awesome shoot up made by Compile here. Yeah, the cool thing about Blazing Lasers is that and not only does it look awesome, especially for 1989, but yeah, man, you have so many options and weapons to work with. It's a shame too, you know, there have been a whole bunch of spiritual successors to Blazing Lasers, but no official sequel. And it's a shame too, because this is one of the best games on Turbo Acid Steam, in my opinion. Yeah. You can power up your ship six times, you know, you get a weapon here with the numeral unos on them. <laughs> weapons one, two, three, and four. Those are your standard weapons, plus you get some cool letters here that might give you multi-bodies, home missiles, shields, and hands fire. Now look at that, I got bigger, stronger lasers now. Plus I can use home missiles at the same time. So you can miss a match and see which works best for you and all that. And that's awesomeness of blazing lasers. Because these lasers are really blazing right now. <laughs> yeah, so number four here. You get cool little balls here, which are good for defense at least. Yeah, they don't do too much, but they just circle around you. Shields here are very cool. You're going to need these later into the game as it gets very tougher. Your ship here, it's not one hit death or anything, and that's very cool, but yeah, later on in the game, you're definitely going to need these shields. Sadly, there's only one difficulty throughout the game, but if you go to like a hidden options menu, you can select some different difficulties. Yeah, TurboGrafx had seen games are weird back then, as they didn't have like an options menu where you can select different difficulties, like in Legendary Ads or Key Courage or something like that. No, it was just one default difficulty and that's it. At least for a lot of games. There's, of course, exceptions to the rule. <laughs> I don't want to shoot myself in the foot or anything like that. No, Ryan, you're wrong because this story of this game you give you options and all that. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, collecting those pink balls there will power up your ship over time, but not as quickly as grabbing like a consecutive, you know, number or letter. Wave Thunder here is awesome because <laughs> although it's weak, it can you know cover a huge distance. Now I'm not killing this thing or collecting it right away. I'm trying to kill it, yeah, because I want the gold balls because that can give you a gold chip. Woo! You want gold chips because they're awesome. 
when you die, you don't go back to your checkpoint. No, you you spawn right in place, which <laughs> can be bad in certain spots, but it can also give you a chance to really wreck an enemy and not have, you know, <laughs> and not have to worry about, you know, retracing your steps and all that. Come out to the first boss already. <laughs> it's a big guy too. Whoa. Okay, I gotta see if I can do a little secret here. Crap. <laughs> I'm out of practice. But there's a method to my madness here. Okay, if you wait this guy out, there's a chance to get a whole bunch of extra lives and even some bombs. Well, at least you just have to wait. Whoa. Yeah, it's cool little secrets like this that makes Blaze and Lasers here awesome. The game is just filled with tons of hidden goodies. Whoa. Ah, crap. I missed it. Yeah, pretty easy boss and everything, but <laughs> yeah, it can be tricky. All right. And simple as that. Ding, ding, ding. Oh yeah, not to mention we get some killer music here. Yeah, stages can be very long and very repetitive. But at least they're filled with a, you know, a lot of enemies, some intense action in here, so you can't hate it too much. Problem is, there's no save feature or nothing, so once you turn off the power, it's all gone. Oh. So that's why I gotta keep on playing it throughout the years. <laughs> and that's why I put it on YouTube, so I can at least record my high score and compare it over time, you know? That's where jump. And yeah, I want to actually prove to people that yes, I can finish this game. <laughs> Man, look at all that carnage on screen. Alright, let's get the missiles. Okay, so I'm just using a real camera on a real Toriya 16 to record the footage here. So, sorry if it looks kind of blurry in spots and all that junk, especially when the action really heats up. Sometimes my camera just can't keep up. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the more missiles you collect, the faster they get. Alright, and now the field thunder here is at its maximum power. Come on, 
is, yeah, Mad Zone Power is kind of slow. <laughs> So it sucks. I lost my blip account. Oh. I was kind of happy on blip. I didn't make a lot of money or anything, but hey, I, at least I made some because on YouTube, it was only until recently where they started, you know, letting you monetize videos. Yeah, when I lost the Star Soldier account, yeah, I couldn't monetize my videos, and that sucked. They let me do it for like a few months and then, oh no, we're taking that away because, uh, I don't know, because of reasons. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I think I must, I must have clicked on some ads by mistake. But when you click on a Google ad, you think it's, all right, this is how I <laughs> access my Google AdSense and all that. But, and now apparently that's a mistake. So I think I goofed up that way. Fortunately, when I opened the Airzonk World Champ channel, I didn't have that problem. Oh yeah, and those, my shields there, they were pink at first, but now they're getting, you know, sort of green. And once they get green, yeah, you go back to standard blue and you lose your shields over time. So shields are awesome, but yeah, you just have to be careful because you don't keep them forever. But at least that gives you an opportunity to collect something new. Even when you have the blue shields on and you take a direct hit, yeah, it's an instant death. Yeah, it's kind of like the shields in Gradius 3, if you pick the front shields or something, if they hit like a different part of your ship, yeah, it's an instant death anyway. Who here plays Grice Free a lot? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure things to talk about. Okay, we come up to the second boss here. Which is kind of like the Claw Daddy in the game Guardian Legend. Yeah, shoots out a giant laser. And yeah, some home missiles. Which are very easy to avoid with my little trick here. Yeah, get off the screen. <laughs> Pretty rudimentary boss. In fact, all the bosses here are pretty standard. There we go. Yeah, just in time too. This stage is very crazy, but I love it. Lots of power-ups. <laughs> yeah, so I think this was originally the bone stages in the Japanese version, <laughs> but they took it out of the North American, you know, version because I don't know, Blazing Lasers just has nine levels to it, and that's it. And there's no two five-minute modes, which is kind of disappointing. When you think of hunts and soft shooters, you think of the two and five minute modes. Oh, 
All right, I gotta use more bombs here. Yeah, that's another cool feature with blazing lasers. Yeah, you got bombs. It doesn't take long for this game to fill up with shit. <laughs> tempting to get that power up there but I need gold chips. There we go. Yeah the gold chips can really save you in the pinch. Yeah even though I died a lot I still got like 13 lives so I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, using that trick on the boss can really help you out. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Get down here. Okay, the boss isn't coming out yet and wants me to collect this power up first. There we go. Yeah, we get a spider boss. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, we even get some new boss music, but yeah, <laughs> the boss here is pretty easy. Uh, the first boss was cool because he, you know, filled up the screen and shit, and <laughs> he gave you those cool missiles and power-ups and extra lives and shit. But the air bosses in the game are kind of lame. Yeah, so you can adjust your speed. <laughs> if you kill multiple enemies, you get multiple power-ups. The screen is not only filled with tons of enemies, but you get lots of power-ups too, and that's why Blazing Lasers is so awesome. Not to mention you get some very cool stage variety. <laughs> Look at this, I'm in the alien world now, for some reason. Oh yeah, this is where my camera is really going to app up though. So much, you know, shit going on, it's hard to focus on it. Yeah, I can see that's blurred right now. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Now stay focused. Yes, there we go. Oh, now the enemies are really gonna swarm on me. Yeah, it's hard to record YouTube footage and focus on the game at the same time. Collect the balls! Get the balls! Who doesn't need more balls in their life? Oh crap. <laughs> There we 
your extra life. Okay, and first mini boss. Well, there's only one mini boss in the stage, and it's pretty easy. It's not even really a mini boss, it's <laughs> just a bunch of weak enemies scattered in one place. And then you kill them. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing I will criticize plays on laser, just, you know, very lame bosses. It doesn't go easy on you. Yeah, I recognize some of these outer enemy patterns from definitely the Guardian Legend and games like that. Where you just get like a whole bunch of, you know, <laughs> destructible but heat seeking enemies on you. Yeah, Compile, I know your game, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Hey, the mini boss is back. So easy as shit. And now we come out to the actual boss. Alright, just defeat the green thingies, and yeah, it's pretty much easy as that. You can put it back, but it's not over with yet. Yeah, pretty easy. <laughs> So if you want to play some error compile games, definitely recommend ones like Gun Knack, New Shot of course. Uh, man, there's some error ones in Japan for Turbo Duel and <laughs> Turbo CD and all that, but fortunately I haven't been able to play them yet because they're very expensive. I think they're called Sprint Again or something. I think the main reason why there will be there never will be a Blazing Laser sequel is because both Compile and Hunt and Saw made this game and yeah <laughs> it's just gonna be too much of a legal issue. Compile owns the rights to games like Zanic and everything, that's no problem, but they would have to rebuy the license for Blazing Lasers and who makes the game, you know, Hudson Soft or Compile? You know, and Hudson Soft and Compile unfortunately are no longer around anymore, so. <laughs> Whoever owns the license now can do whatever the hell they want, I guess, but it just becomes very confusing and that's why we'll never see a true sequel to Golnai on the N64 or anything like that. Believe me, a lot of companies that tried, EA, UBI saw, but, you know, <laughs> they all failed pretty much. Oh. Yeah, nothing will match the awesomeness, awesomeness of the original N64 Goldeneye. And it's the same thing with blazing lasers, you know? There are going to be newer systems with fancier effects and more true to life visuals and everything 
But then you get an awesome game like Blaze and Lasers that just has some killer gameplay to it. And that's why I collect for the 16, you know? <laughs> that's why I haven't given, gotten rid of it over the years. It's a one of a kind system. People will just look at the value of the games and say, whoa, this game is worth like uh, 40 or 50 or even 100 bucks. I'm going to sell it right now. And they don't even like playing and shit. But Me, I grew up on these games. It's nostalgic. I just love them. And the gameplay in Blazing Lasers is almost unmatched in terms of quality. Yeah, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of crap out there for turbo graphics it seemed like deep blue of course, but whoa. <laughs> but then you get an awesome game like Blazing Lasers here that really challenges you and it's almost you know It's almost like a zen-like game. <laughs> it's gonna punch ya, you're gonna get killed a lot, but once you really master the gameplay elements of it, yeah, it's timeless. Shit, I should've kept those shields. <laughs> I used to be really good at this game, but yeah, I'm out of practice. Yeah, it's just like any game, you really gotta master its design. Yeah, it's been years since I actually played this too, so... It's great to go back to now and again, but... <laughs> you really gotta sharpen your skills. It's not a game you can forget about and say, Oh, I'll come back to it and be really good at it. No! Sometimes the game will throw you a bone like an easy boss and all that. <laughs> but, every time, yeah, it's gonna like rape you. Yeah, those dragons sure didn't rock. Oh, I'm sorry, that was awful. <laughs> okay, and we got three more stages to go. And we got the crystal stage. Which will give you a polite warning saying, yeah, we're gonna go here and try to attack you. <laughs> On the higher difficulties, it doesn't even warn you about that, but... Yeah, the only way to reach the higher difficulties is to use a cheat. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, NEC. know why there are hidden modes in this game and all these secrets when it could have been like a cool unlockable or <laughs> somewhere you can actually earn like achievements but oh, I don't know it was the early days of Turbo 16 and they can only do so much shit So if you kill a group of enemies, there's a pretty good chance they're going to leave a power-up for you. Problem is, you know, actually waiting for the power-up.
Yeah, some of these are just, yeah, not really much at this stage. Yeah. You get some rods and these group of enemies that always come by and <laughs> some new crystal design, but there's really not too much going on here. <laughs> Yeah, it's just at, like the alien level, you know, <laughs> they just threw it in a, like a weird stage that already right, this is the alien world, this is the crystal stage, you know, <laughs> that's some level variety, isn't it? But <laughs> it doesn't really affect the game too much, you know. So background looks nice, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> but that's all it is, it's just background. Yeah, the bosses get a little bit tougher. I just got right here. You can't actually kill it until it's posted. It's, it's, yeah, it exposes itself. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, not to mention this guy lets go over the place. It's kind of annoying. Kind of like the stage four boss in Space Mega Force. Kill him, you can actually go through him and get no crash damage. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Alright, I think I have enough gold balls. Golden balls. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm actually safe now. I don't have to worry about collecting a lot of them now anymore and risk losing my life. <laughs> Stage 7, yeah. This stage can be pretty nuts. You again. Yeah, this is pretty much level 1 on steroids. At least we get some new music and some new enemy types, but yeah, it's pretty much the same old shit. <laughs> I'd recommend keeping the shields here. They're gonna throw a ton of enemies at ya. I can understand all these enemies come at you in the game like Guardian Legend where you have like a lot of hits you can endure but blazing lasers you can only take a few hits then you're gone unless you get the shields <laughs> and then the game almost becomes unbalanced because it's too easy <laughs> but then you lose the shields <laughs> crap I don't even know what killed me there There we go. 
again powered up again. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to get your full power back. But it does hurt when you lose it all. You die! Yeah, thank God for the power ups. <laughs> What I like about Blazing Lasers 2, you know, is that it will throw you a lot of power outside. Sometimes it will give you a bone, like, alright, here's uh, this enemy to the side. It might give you, like, a crystal or it might give you, like, a, you know, number or letter or something. And you're good to go. Yeah, it's not like Deep Blue or something like that where you have to rely on... <laughs> key moments where the game is going to throw power ups at you. Well, now we get the tiles. Yeah, these things are annoying. Yeah, you can kill them easy enough, but the problem is they attack in large groups. hits I can take. Yeah, this thing here is annoying. Lasers, uh, heat seeking shots, five way shots. Definitely one of the tougher bosses in the game. let these power ups, especially when enemies are trying to kill you. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't want that. There we go. Now he's at his lowest level. Oh, he's going to go in a panic mode. Yeah, shoot everything at you. So how are you guys doing out there? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Sometimes that I had to work all weekend. But at least I get to play a nice shoot em up now. And take her easy. Oh, this stage is tough. stage. Yeah, oddly enough, the hell bubbles are the easiest to kill. Yeah, very trippy, but <laughs> yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Plus it has some of the coolest graphics of the game, I think. Gonna get faster. 
This is nuts. Just get the shields. <laughs> oh crap. He doesn't know when to let up sometimes. Thank God for the bombs. Okay, maybe I'm too fast. I'll just go to third level. Take way too many hits. Keep the shields, keep the shields. I can give you any advice, keep the shields. <laughs> Crazy enemy. Well, it's mostly a background attack. <laughs> yeah, I also think if you kill more enemies, the game sort of rewards you in a way. Alright, you killed a lot of enemies, so here's a bonus. Yeah. Losing my shields already. I didn't want that. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> the game is awfully generous with the shields. But it kinda has to be on this level. quiet there for a second. <laughs> Then the game surprises you with a ton of enemies at once. Okay, I'm close to boss at least. <laughs> yeah, it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> 
Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> All right, she's not that ugly. She is skinny though. Now we got Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like her too. <laughs> I think this thing has a bigger brain though. Yeah, it won't die. Die, Miley, die! Yeah, the hitbox on these bosses here is kind of weird. <laughs> you sort of have to hit it while its mouth is fully open. There we go. Now it's dead. And just one more level to go. And we're done blazing lasers. I thank you for staying this long. You know, hopefully you got, you know, something to drink or, <laughs> you know, that's alcohol related, so we, <laughs> this isn't, like, too boring for you. But still, I'm on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> this game is just so intense. Hi, you again. You want some of this? It's a little bit more tougher than it was before, but not by much. Oh man, you gotta love that intense music. Yeah, hopefully you can focus on the action here without blurring too much. <laughs> Stupid camera. I don't know how I can avoid not doing that, you know? <laughs> I think it's gonna be a net boss. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy's a win. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot a whole bunch of lasers at you. <laughs> Which I could easily avoid by going to the sides here. Yeah, even when you play this game on its maximum difficulty, that's all it does is just shoot lasers. Super easy. Okay, that was a waste of time. <laughs> but at least it gives you new points and all that. Yeah, the common enemies are much tougher. Like, look at this. Oh, it's you. It's like a reunion of pain. <laughs> But I'm dishing out the hurts this time. Yeah, fully powered up. You know, we got lots of good weapons, full shields, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I know your patterns. I know how to beat you. Alright, they're so cheap though. Just a waiting game with this guy. Damn it. He really did. Yeah, he really did number on the shields there. Oh shit, 
I didn't want this ring thing. Yeah, I'll go back to this one. I haven't showed this one off a lot, but it kind of sucks. Just a standard five-way shot if you get fully powered up. Oh no, not you again. with the number two weapon here is that it's very weak. Um, I might be able to do some real damage. Well, with the wave weapon, it can be very big and it can be very hard to find the hitbox. There's only a couple bosses left. Oh man. Yeah, this is where it really gets nuts. Yeah, enemies from the side, enemies from the top. Well, yeah, they're gonna throw everything at you here. Bombs, use them. <laughs> Problem is, I don't have a raw box left. Ah, perfect. I know how to get more bombs. Yep, I just have to wait it out. <laughs> It sucks that it's getting a lot colder now, eh? <laughs> I might as well talk about the weather. Yeah, so... I have to turn the heat on now and that's going to be very expensive. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to grow up. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. I remember when this game was sold in Toys R Us too. <laughs> now they just sell the newer shit I don't give a damn about. Destiny came out for PlayStation 4 and I don't care. Was it what just like an open MMO version of Halo? But not quite as good as Halo? <laughs> 
And you can't use any of the Halo characters like Master Chief and Cortana. Yeah. Just sounds so boring. People wonder why I like the old shit so much and then you play something like Destiny. It's just confusing. Weird level nut system to it. Oh uh, yeah. And then you play something like Blazing Lasers that just has so much action into it. You don't have to like load or wait for campaigns or any of that shit. No. Instant gratification, baby. I love it. <laughs> Not to mention it's hard as hell. Here's the final boss, the master computer. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know the storyline with this game. I don't think many people do, but I think it's just some computer virus and that's trying to destroy the world and all that. And we got this beat its uh, eight, I don't know, commanders or something before they take over Earth and all that junk. But who cares about the storyline anyways? You just shoot shit. And speaking of weird storylines, yeah, we get to fight Mariah Carey here for some reason. Yeah. He's pissed off. I heard she went crazy one time and, <laughs> you know, attacked her mother or something. <laughs> And now that here she is in Blazing Lasers trying to take over the world. She is hot though, I'll give her that. <laughs> Whenever I watch her videos, I just turn the sound off. <laughs> and make sure, you know, I got my hands ready. <laughs> oh my god. If I don't get flavor for that, I don't know what will. There we go, Mariah Carey's done for. But it's not over yet. Yeah, we get this weird boss. It's kind of anti-climatic, you know? This is the end boss here, and he just throws a whole bunch of rings at you. Oh, be careful of my deadly rings here. <laughs> you can even destroy the rings, too. Alright, so... Yeah, this is the end guy, so we might as well use our bombs here. Yeah, kind of disappointed. <laughs> you can be tough though, so you gotta be careful about that. And the only way you can kill him when he is opened up like that.
When he shoots two rings like that, that means, yeah, he's gonna be dead soon. There we go, and we finished Blazing Lasers here for Tokyo 16. I thank you all for watching and enduring this very long playthrough. Look at that, I got 64 lives and 13 million points. Oh man, I hate when games do that though. They give you so many lives, but you can't use them. <laughs> the game is over. Yeah, and when I mean over, yeah, it's completely over. I guess a pilot dies at the end and the world explodes and <laughs> everything is ruined. But you get this nice happy music. Yeah. Enjoy the end then because this is the only time we'll ever see a place in laser game ever. <laughs> Come on you staff, get back together and see if you can give me a sequel before I'm dead. I ain't getting any younger here. Come on, Gemini Hero. Come on, Poochie Namagoro. I know you guys can get back together again. Come on, Janice. I know you can do it, Janice. Please? Come on, Miyamoto. GTS. Yeah. Is that JTT? From uh, WWE? I don't know. Come on, Miyoko Yamitachi. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even going to try that one. Ichi uh, yeah, Yamolo or Yamata, Breast Friends in Sapporo? Oh, oh Johnny Garner. Hey, that's the English thing. Get that out of here. Rice Grounds. Moshitachi or Happy Tomoto? And me! Woohoo! Thank you, me! Or you. Special things. And you. Yeah, and finally Compile is getting some credit. <laughs> we only had to finish the game to actually notice that, yeah, they actually made the game. Yeah, and this is actually based on a movie too. Alright, what else do I need to cover before I end this? Uh, uh, I don't know, just get the game, it's really fun. I like it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I think, yeah, we get this one copyright s screen and then, yeah, it's over. It's all over. Oh, I'm gonna play some more. Oh, come on. I know it was long and everything, but it was really a fun game. I liked it. If you haven't saw my review on it, which you probably can't right now because I deleted it, but yeah, I get this game a 90 out of 100. It's that awesome. It can be a little bit on balance in spots, but hey, <laughs> stick with it. You'll have a fun time with it. You know, just forget the b bare bones storyline and why you're defeating Mariah Carey at the end. I don't know. Yeah, bitch, be crazy. <laughs> so we we just got put her in her place and just let her make some music and some hot videos. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we stopped Mariah Carey and we saved and we saved the world. Okay, whatever. Alright, and this is Arizona Star Soldier 1, over and out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get this. Yeah, you can select A, B, or even E, but nothing happens. No.